Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. Alexa, turn on bar lights. It's kind of funny without the blue lights behind. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of like the blue lights of heaven. Oh. Um, I appreciate you guys being here, and I'm actually uh, doing something. I'm trying to get this computer. One thing I've learned is you constantly have to um, adapt, evolve, and change, okay? You guys who have been watching me for since 2016, you might remember when I used to do the Bidet Emory show sitting there with a little teeny desk. And then I finally ended up building the first locker. Then I moved them over there, you know, and so on. And I've upgraded and upgraded and always changed things. Well, one of the problems we had last year was my Alienware computer that's over there. It's about three years old. And um, what we ended up doing, of course, I mean, you, we've added so much. There's literally 12 screens that are hooked up to this thing. So I've got another computer that's newer, more power and everything else that's going to be here. And I'm going to take this one to the red brick house, in which case I'll be um, using it there um, because it won't be hooked up to as many monitors and stuff. And so that way it'll still be fine. So you must always change and evolve if you are to succeed. And I am not one who I, I haven't succeeded yet. I'm still working that way. Be that as it may, be that as it may, I don't know if you've noticed something with the Cowboys. Here's what's kind of interesting to me, okay? Have you noticed that Jerry Jones has seemingly grabbed a hold of the Dallas Cowboys in, again? It was just two days ago, you know, just before they signed C.D. Lamb, you heard him basically go on a rant you know, saying, and I'm the head blank to blank and, you know, nobody else knows this shit better than me and the GM and stuff. I honestly believe that that was Jerry Jones taking Stephen Jones and throwing him up against the wall and grabbing the bull shit by the horns. I think Jerry Jones has said, you know, we're going to let you, we're going to see what you can do, Stephen Jones. And let him run things, and then finally he realizes, wait a minute, this ain't getting it done. When Jerry Jones said, we're all in, and Stephen Jones kind of brushed it aside and literally said, you know, I don't know a time when Jerry wasn't all in. And just kind of like, <laughs> yeah, and ignored it. But I think with what has happened with the C.D. Lamb contract and how the Cowboys were lowballing him in the same way they were trying to lowball everybody and stuff, that Jerry Jones finally said, you know what, I'm sick of this shit. I'm in charge right now. Sit your ass down, Stephen, and let me show you how to do it. Because here's the thing that's, that, that's kind of crazy. What I think is Jerry Jones is changing and evolving right now with what he's doing. A couple of things have happened. We've gone to training camp. And let's be clear here, training camp, there were not the people there like they're usually there at training camp. Those numbers were low. Let's be clear here. I have been going to training camp since 2012, I think it was the first time. And it was like you were there by yourself in comparison. You're not seeing people, when you look at what you saw at the practice at the star, open practice, there's only two open practices for the fans. And guess what? That place looked empty. <clears throat> so I think Jerry Jones recognizes people are getting fed up. The enthusiasm isn't there. Now, now be, be, let's be clear here. What I found out today was because some of you guys wanted to uh, get a suite. Yeah, some of y'all wanted to get a suite for the Eagles game. 18-person suite where you can get six extra tickets, so 24 seats. $40,000. $40,000. At $16.66 per person. That's unbelievable. I'm just like, are you kidding me? So, 
they ain't losing money, but I think Jerry really and truly wants that Super Bowl. Now, I think the reality of the power that Dak Prescott has, he recognizes it. And what I said to you guys before, if I'm Dak Prescott, I'm not necessarily in a rush to go ahead and get the contract done. Why? Let me say to the Joneses, let me see what you're going to do. What are you going to do to help me get a ring? If you're going to be about it, then okay, I might take a team-friendly deal. I won't worry about going out there because let's be honest here. For both parties, you're both better off being in Dallas. You could go to the Raiders. The Raiders, you know, you got a crazy eccentric owner in, in Mark Davis. You could go to the Giants. They'd more than welcome you. But that team's ass-ass, and they can't draft. They suck at drafting. You could give them 10 first-round picks, and they still would mess it up. You know, you could go to Tennessee or something like that. But the reality is, is they, they, they're the boys. They're the Dallas Cowboys. You want to be seen? You want to be relevant? You want a Super Bowl to mean more than any place else? Win one in Dallas. Win one in Dallas. That, my friends, would be the coup de gras. I think that's how you say it. So I think Jerry Jones, if you look at the last two weeks, where the Cowboys, instead of saying, we're good, we believe in our guys, are going out and strategically bringing in more players. And it just seems like we're doing a little bit more than usual. You remember last year when we lost Overshone, we didn't go out there and try and get another linebacker filled in. When we looked at positions and said, we're not that good, we just kind of said, man, it's okay. Position flex. Now, they go out and get Lavelle Joseph. That's not a position flex guy. That's not taking a five-technique guy and say you can play one. That's not taking, you know, uh, Tyrone Crawford, who's kind of an edge rusher, and say you can play tackle. They went out and they got real tackles. Maybe they're, they're past their prime. But, you know, they got the right tool for the job. Linvel Joseph, that's a one-technique guy to go in the middle. Mozzie, we're making you a three-technique. Carl Lawson, you're here to help take up some of the slack of Sam Williams being hurt. And now, we're not really satisfied with the offensive line. I'm mean, Excuse me, the, the running backs. So, we bring in a Dalvin Cook. So, Jerry can go to, 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 to Dak and say, hey, Dak, look, you know what? Here's what we've done, Dak. Dak, we done brought back Zeke. You know, he's your best buddy. He likes to throw the M&Ms at you and everything. And, and we want you to have your M&Ms, right? You can go through and say, you know, we ended up bringing in Dalvin Cook to get you another running back in here. You know, he's still got some miles on there. I know he's not Derrick Henry, but, you know, we think that he's right there in production. You know, we got your buddy, C.D. Lamb. He's locked up for the next four years. Why don't you get locked up? You got one of the best wide receivers in football with you right now, right? And you can say, you know, as far as the offensive line goes, you know, we done gone through. It, it, Tyler Briotish, Tyler Biotis seemed like he would get lifted up and dropped in your lap, and no man wants another man in his lap. So we got ourselves a headbanger in the juggernaut who might be as good as Travis Frederick one day. And for the left tackle, we know you like Tyron Smith, but, you know, he's old. We got the next best thing, a young type Tyler, uh, Tyron Smith, we hope. And you look at that and say, Dak, look, bro, we putting together a team. We can continue to do this if you work with us. We are in this together, which is different than, you know, Dak's got to understand he's got to leave money on the table, piece of the pie for everybody else. He needs to take a break. No, this is Jerry Jones. Because listen to this. Listen to this. Jerry Jones on what's more, what more Dak needs to show. So, in other words, they're asking him, okay, well, you know, what does Dak Prescott need to do to prove that he's worth this money, right? That's the question. Because people are going to say, well, he, he's not worth that kind of money and everything else. And here, this is the response to this. This is, you know, ha, 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 uh, what, what's the term? Um, hat in hand. This is hat in hand Jerry Jones accepting some of the responsibility for the Cowboys' failures as opposed to saying, you know, we all stuck, they, they stuck up the place in Green Bay. If you haven't seen it by now, you haven't seen it. 
I'm such a fan of Dax. I appreciate his worth ethic more than anything. Dax's situation has more to do with our situation than a merit of Dax's situation of being the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. He's recognizing that they have also let the team down too. That it's not just those players on the field or the coaches. They have a direct responsibility in this as well. And this is one of those come to Jesus moments, kubayas, whatever you want to call it, where they come through and they say, let's see if we can get this stuff together. Let's see if we can go on and build this thing. And I think that this is Stephen Jones getting kicked back. Changed my mind. Changed my mind on that one. That's what it feels like to me. But again, I'm a guy with a day job and a voodoo doll, so what do I know? All righty, good people. Um, I'm still working on trying to get this computer set up over here and see if it works. Um, and uh, see if I can get the other computer going. Um, and uh, Google, there's Google Chrome. Okay. Confirm. Okay. All right. All right. So that's all I got to say about that. But <laughs> for you Eagle fans, because you know I love you guys. You know I love you guys. Um, we have a little bit something on Jordan Davis. Somebody threw a little bit of shade at him. Just remember good people. 